The use of 3D on websites is becoming more popular, and these 3D elements can be in the foreground or in the background and react to your mouse movements. Additionally, they're not just on desktop, but you can now see them on mobile phones and on tablets as well, and they definitely make the page feel like it's coming alive. In this video, I'm going to explore exactly how I can start adding my own 3D elements into pages in a way that doesn't require me to learn how to do 3D modeling, but instead capitalize on some of the benefits that AI brings to the the table. My end goal is to update my own website here that I have on Wix Studio with some new assets for these 2D images that I have with possibly 3D ones that also rotate. And this is what I'll be using, Spline Design. They recently added in new AI tools that let you generate 3D objects with just an AI prompt. I'll start by logging into Spline. And here in the dashboard, I've got this button to generate. Now I've got a regular prompt over here and I'm gonna put in the prompt of an icon of a sharp jagged yellow thunderbolt with a slight glow. So I've got a couple of different examples here. I think the closest one is this thunderbolt right over here, but it does allow me to also add an image. If for example, I wanted to have my own example reference and I think I might need to do that in order to get this shape accurate. So I found this image of a Thunderbolt online. It looks 3D and it's kind of what I'm after. So I'm going to drag it in here for my prompt. I'm also gonna paste in that I want a yellow Thunderbolt and I'll keep the prompt extremely simple this time. All right, this first one looks like it's a right on point and I think it's gonna be exactly what I'm looking for. Let's see. This looks perfect. There's one issue. If I rotate it, well, it doesn't look exactly like it should, but I'm guessing this is just because of the way that the AI has generated it. And maybe I can kind of customize it in the editor. So let me try and do that. Now here's the design software. So it's got some points here and I can kind of shift some of these points, I think. I can squeeze it, so that looks good. And there, I think, I think that's it. I'm pretty happy with that. Now to add some animation. So this is actually kind of easy. I just select it, create two states, a base state and a state two. I'm gonna add a state two with a rotation of 360. And then I'll select to add an event. Now this event will happen when this scene starts. I'll add a transition. And for the transition, I'll go from state one to state two over a period of 10 seconds. And I'll do this in a linear fashion. And then I'll make this also loop an infinite amount of times. Let's click play. And this is what I get. It's kind of exactly what I'm after. So I think this is ready to be exported. So I'm gonna select it over here and I'm gonna copy this script and I'm gonna see if I can embed it directly into my page over here. Now I've got this icon here. Now, instead of that, I'm going to copy in an iframe because it's kind of like a code block. And in here, I'm gonna paste in that icon. Right now, it's not quite ready because I think I haven't published this. So let me select update a viewer. And there we go. We've got our Thunderbolt in a little iframe right over here. And I could replace this icon with this cool 3D rotating one. Though I do wanna see if I can change this to have a green color. I wanna select um, materials. Uh, this one looks kind of nice. That definitely looks way better. I'm gonna be using that and I'll put this Thunderbolt right over here. Now let's move on to the dollar sign. Heading back over to Spline, I'm gonna go to the AI section and just say dollar sign. And apparently it can't. Maybe I didn't explain this properly enough. Maybe if I just do a dollar sign, that'll be enough. All right, that hasn't worked either. Um, this still hasn't worked really well. If I do something simple, like a prompt, like an apple, I'm sure this will generate just fine. Yeah, all right, so I've got an apple here. That looks okay, but that's not what I'm after. So I found this image of a dollar sign and I'm gonna plug it right over here to hopefully generate something closer to it with an empty prompt. So I do have a few good examples here. Uh, I think this first one again is one of the best. So I'm gonna select to generate it. And this is what I get. It looks like an extruded version of the dollar sign, but I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna use this and maybe also change the color for it, similar like I did with the Thunderbolt. All right, here it is. And the first thing I'm gonna do is change its color. Let's select to do a new material 
And I'm going to do this green material we had last time, because I think I really liked that, especially on the black background. Then I'm going to try and center it a little bit. I'm going to create those two states. So let me select it here, create two states for state two, I'll do that 360 rotation. And then I'll do the event, which is a transition. And like before, we'll do it over 10 seconds. And we'll do a linear transition that will loop forever and select play. So here it is. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'm going to select to export here in the viewer. I'll just remove the background and I'll remove page scroll and select update. Then I'll copy this script over here and jump back into my website. And like I had here an iframe, I'm going to drag one ear in the right column. Let's resize that just a little bit and place in the script. So that should load, hopefully, and here it is. That is looking great, exactly what I wanted, matching the color scheme just how I needed. And instead of this one, which I'll set the opacity to zero now, I'll replace it with this dollar sign, and it matches the design quite well. While it's not perfect, I love the fact that AI is helping us do things that are outside of our skill sets. If you have any comments or really good examples of your own creations, let me know in the comments below.